They did it. Japan are through to the World Cup for the seventh time in a row. So on this month's J League Monthly, we're going to put the spotlight on the players who could give the national side an extra bit of sugar and spice and possibly become a hero. Let's also not forget our new gems in the J League too. Also coming up, Super Play Best 5. Fabulous. Time to kick off. Hello everyone and welcome once again to J-League Monthly, giving you the gems, the beauties that the J-League has. I'm accompanied by the one and only Sean Tastic, Sean Carroll. How are you? <laughs> I'm okay, Harry, but you only said hello once. I'm a bit worried. Is everything okay with you? <laughs> yeah, things are good. Things are good, mate. Um, how are you feeling, mate? How are you doing? I'm doing very good. They made it. They did it. We weren't sure if they were going to do it, but they're there. They're in the World Cup, so everything now is kind of, we can breathe and relax a bit. Okay, let's roll. Who's going to shine in Qatar? Here's a clue, starting with some globally known famous superstars. All right, let's start with none other than Yuto Nagatomo. Um, Sean, he's always wearing his heart, his spirit on his sleeve. What do you think of Nagatomo? I think, yeah, what you said there is exactly right. I think you kind of need players like that, certainly in the squad, at least, when it comes to the World Cup. Whether, whether he still has the legs to, to complete the 90 minutes in every game at that level, we, maybe is up for debate now. We, we never thought it would be because he just seemed like one of those players that could keep on running. Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, for his for his leadership, for the, the mentality he would bring, the experience he's got playing in Europe for as long as he did, you'd have to think that Moriasa will want to keep him in the squad. Mm. And then we have Sakai, Hiroki Sakai. Well, he's he's always been one of my favourites, you know. Mm. Um, a beast of a defender, a gentleman uh, when you're interviewing him. Uh, but his body strength is just awesome. And he's just got the experience too, right? Yeah, I think exactly the same. The experience he's got, as you said, the physique, he's strong. He can defend well. He gets forward as well. He can put in crosses, as you can see there. He also poses a threat from from set pieces and things, and I think he's another one who who has to be there um, on the merit of what he's achieved so far. And I think, yeah, still he's had a couple of injuries and whatever this season, yep. but if he's fully fit, yeah, you'd have to assume he's on the plane. Okay, and the last decade, this man over here, Osako, Mr. Hampanai Osako. Um, do, do we do we want him up front, leading the ranks from the start of the game? What, what do you reckon about Osako? Um, if if he's in form, he, he had, goes through spells. When he's in form, I think he's probably just about um, the best that Japan have, maybe just. Yeah. But he hasn't been in form for a while. Um, he holds the ball up well. He does give them that option. Presses well from the front. But I think of the three we're talking about here, I think he certainly has the biggest fight on his hands to be, uh, mm. to be making that final squad. Definitely, definitely. So... Nagatomo, Sakai, and Osako um, looking to staple their position into the Japanese national side for Qatar. But we got to focus. We've got to talk about Group E. Were you watching this live? I was, yes, I was. I was like, no, 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 no. This is no, not. Don't good. worry, it'll be okay. fine. Just e, e for easy, Harry, don't worry. E for not easy. Problem. E for easy. Okay, give me your verdict about this group then. Group E. <laughs> I mean, if you look at it on paper, it's it's horrific, isn't it? Spain and Germany. It's they a are, nightmare. They are two of the teams who pretty much before each World Cup, they, their names are going to be listed as, as potential winners. But I think, you know, this is the World Cup. This is what you want. You go there to play the best teams and, and show what you've got. Um, mm. And I think it might almost work the other way, where Japan now, you know, nobody is expecting them to get through. You, you only need to maybe hold one of them to a draw. We don't know yet who the other team's going to be. Japan can win that game, maybe get a draw against one of these. Four points can get you through the group. They've done that previously. Yes, and as you said, an upset. The World Cup always has a knack of producing surprises. And um, in our next block, I want you, Sean, and to give us some surprising um, players who might actually shine in Qatar for the Japanese national side. Is that all right? Sounds good to me. 
first up selected by Sean. That's right, huh? I've been waiting for him. <laughs> Sean, you, Mr. Suzuki. I think everyone wants to see him there, don't they? He's, he's the kind of player that Japan really lacks. He's, he's aggressive. He does the, yep. the nasty stuff on the pitch. He really yep. gets involved. He's got that fire, that bit of edge that I think maybe the Japan team is often lacking. Um, and he knows how to score. He, he puts the ball in the back of the net. He did it before he left Kashima. He went to Europe and did well. Yeah. Uh, he's back there now. We don't know for how long, but he's come back and made an instant impact. He, he riles up the opposition players and fans. People on his team, obviously, you love having a player like that on your team and, and hate playing against him. And I, if, if I was the manager, he would be one of the first names I'd be putting down in the... In yes, the let's team. put him in. Let's have the feisty fireball in there. Okay, now... Yeah, this player, you know, he's been on the cards beforehand. Um, Yamanaka, uh, what do you make of him? Left back, a great cross. His crossing, his ability to get balls into that danger zone right between the goalkeeper and the defence, where the defenders really hate having to deal with. He can do it in open play. He can do it from set pieces. We mentioned Nagatomo before, probably is the first choice at left back, but whether he can manage 90 minutes. Maybe defensively, he's not the most solid, and his career has kind of stagnated a little bit in recent years since he moved on from Marinos. But this year at Cerezo, he's, he's made that left back position his own. And again, at the World Cup, when you need something different to maybe change the flow of a game, if Japan need a goal to, to get back into a match or to, to edge a match and get the, the win, I think he can come on and, and add something different from that left side. Yeah, definitely some competition for Nagatomo and Nakayama too. And last but not least, we have Fujita in there. Tell me a bit about this player. Well, he's, he's been so highly rated since he was a youngster. He, he could have been eligible for, for Nigeria as well. I think he might still be actually ineligible. He hasn't played, obviously, for the full national team yet, I don't believe. But he can do everything. He's still young and maybe not ready yet to be, to be starting. But I think get him in, uh, on the plane, he can defend. He's one of those kind of, he's like an old fashioned box to box midfielder, which we don't see much of. Mm. as much these days i think players are more specialized but he can kind of do everything he's still only i think about 20. came through at tokyo verdi did very well moved to tokushima vortis last year in j1 now he's at yokohama f marinos he's getting better and better each season and i think something like that again just to add something a bit different a slightly different style of player to come on and change the dimension of things mm. could be could be a kind of a joker in the pack for japan defo so um let's look forward to all these players um, working their magic, hopefully in the World Cup, but also in the J League and two. Uh, last but not least, we want to be finishing this off with Super Play and Best of Five. So, Mr. Sean Tastic, Sean Carroll, uh, take care of yourself and um, we shall see each other very soon then. Cheers. We will do, yep. Best of luck to everybody in the ACL too. All right, bye-bye.